Hey gang, um, I got a lot of questions about adding line items to the roof in uh, Sketch. So I wanted to go over it quickly. I know we went over it in the class, but just wanted to spend a little time with it. Excuse the background noise. I had to prepare this fairly quickly, and uh, the only place I could get to has a little background noise. So anyway, I am going to apply some roofing material to this uh, to this roof right here. Okay. I'm going to do a quick search and I'm going to search for a 30 year laminate shingle. And uh, here is a 30 year uh, comp shingle that includes felt. Okay, so this is the one I'm going to use just for this exercise. So I'm going to do a single click on it. Now I'm going to hover over this roof. Now, one of the things I wanted to point out that I did not point out well in class is it doesn't really re matter where on this roof you're at when you right click. So I'm going to write, I'm going to be any old place here. I'm going to right click and you'll see in the calculator I got default. Okay. Um, I choose the other items that I want to put onto the roof. Right. Turbine type. Okay. And then I hit OK. And this is where it's going to matter a lot where I click. Okay, I got to hover in a, in a place that's going to highlight the entire roof. Now, note if you get close to, uh, if you see these little lines are coming up, like right there, you do not want to uh, place your roofing surface on the uh, gable ends and the um, in the eaves. So you're really going to have to just wait till you're hovering around and you place it on the on the roof itself. Now, one of the things I wanted to point out, so I'm going to go ahead and click and place these items here and. And this little uh, tag that's still, my cursor's still loaded, I can hit escape to get rid of that. But here's the important thing to check out. Now, you'll see here on this particular little roof that I created, I have uh, 7.69 squares. If I go down to my roofing material, see how I have 7.69 squares here, or 8 here? That means that I did successfully get roofing material on the entire roof surface. Now, if you're not used to this view, remember we can go up here to Estimate Items, and under Estimate Items, we can see here that I've got the uh, eight squares because it's rounded up to the nearest bundle, and 7.69 uh, squares of the tear-off. And don't forget that you got to deal with this little cube here, the Item Property Editor, to add the waste. Okay, uh, let's do 10%. Okay, very important. Now, as long as I'm here and I'm showing a few things, um, let me go back to Sketch. You know, we, we did this deal where we found the roofing material and then right-clicked uh, to add the flashing of the drip edge. Well, I'm sure you've already guessed. Uh, you don't have to do that method. You could also just say search for drip, drip edge here, right? And then highlight, and you'll notice the, uh, the quantity listed here, um, right there. See, it says quantity roof perimeter. If I just place the drip edge here, it's going to place it or delete it depending on which process I'm doing on the roof perimeter automatically. Or I could say I could do look for a uh, uh, turbine. Here's a turbine vent. Right, I could just take it and a single click, place one there, place one there, place one here, and you'll notice if I go over to estimate items, there's my turbine vent, right? my turbine vent, uh, my roof vent turbine type. Okay. And uh, finally, um, it is possible to add linear foot items or square foot items to the roof in this same kind of method. Like, uh, for instance, I'll do 5 slash 8 C D X. There is the uh, roofing 5 8 C D X. I can hold down my left click. I'm holding down the left click here. I'm dragging out an area. See, when I release, it'll actually apply my CDX to that area. Okay? Or I can delete it in that area. Um, but I just wanted to show, I just wanted to give you a, a refresher and also a couple more tips with regards to how to add line items from the um, sketch area. So, one last thing I can show you here is. Uh, Remember, it's entirely possible to do to use the reference search. Okay, so 
I can, for instance, uh, choose flashing, and I'll choose a pipe jack, and I'll do a lead pipe jack here, and, and I can uh, place those items on the roof by using a reference search, the picture search too. Okay, so that's a little tutorial. Uh, once again, we, we, we went over that process of clicking on the search price list and searching for the uh, 30 uh, laminate, 30 year laminate shingle and we went through the process of uh, hovering over the roof and then right clicking and here let me do it again eliminate these items okay. so we did a 30 year laminate roof we hovered over the roof, we right clicked we chose the additional items that we wanted to add to this particular roof Okay. We hit OK, and then is at this point where we're careful to hover over the entire roof surface. We place it on the roof surface, but we can also check to make sure we did that correctly by looking at the number of squares here in our annotation, this thing that says face, and double checking it against the number of squares in the actual estimate, which can be viewed here at the bottom of sketch, but it can also be viewed over at estimate items right here under the line item itself. And we also reviewed how to highlight the install portion of the roofing and adding the waste by clicking on that cube which is the drop down for the item property editor and uh, we also finally looked at how to search for and add other items besides just the roofing material from the sketch area thank you